Hi everyone, Krishna this side. In this video, I will be covering this lead code problem 2200. Find all k distinct indices in an array. It's an easy level problem. Let us uh, look into the problem statement, what it is saying. You are given a zero indexed integer array nums. Two integers k and k. Okay, these values are given with us. Uh, k distinct index is an index i okay, of nums for which there exists at least one index j such that more, uh, in the whatever the absolute value that we get i minus j less than or equals to k and nums of j equals to k okay so we have to return all the k distinct indices sorted in increasing order so from this particular array nums e is basically 9 and the difference that between the two indices should be less than or equals to this one so if we look into this one 9 is the index here it is like second index is what we have which is having k Correct. that is something what we have noticed from 9 now how many elements this 9 basically covers it basically covers this 4 as well as this one as well as itself how because the difference when we do this uh, uh, indexes difference like uh, this is first index this is the second index when we do when we subtract them it is basically one okay so one is actually acceptable number 9 itself uh, when we subtract the distance it is going to be j minus i basically zero so yes that is going to be acceptable this one also acceptable for this next nine it basically covers all these elements okay so yes the indexes is something what we have to return ultimately at the end and that is the output that we have to give and we have to make sure that these numbers are basically in a sorted order and no duplicate uh, index is basically been covered it okay so that is all the question so basically the first idea that comes in our mind is like let us uh, let us run two for loops the first for loop starts from the zero and next for loop keeps on checking if we have at any particular index if we have the key value appeared okay the moment we see that key value appeared we will simply try to subtract between the uh, whatever the first for loops uh, index and this one and checks whether the whatever the absolute value that we are getting if it is less than this uh, one okay that is the first case and if it is uh, we will collect that number into the list and we will break from that so the whatever the complexity that it requires is going to be n square and uh, if we look into the constraint it is basically thousand range is basically in thousand so yes this is basically acceptable and we can write that code as well there is no problem with that one but again yes we actually again interviewed asked to further improve it and the range is actually got increased now so how can we solve that one there right so let us look focus on this particular screen let us say that this is the array that we have given okay this is the array and these are the indexes of that array and k value is this and key again is going to be 9 okay same key same array is there just key value range is actually what i have increased so what we will do is we will start from this uh, zeroth index we will keep on checking and we will, whenever we notice that key value is something what we got so what we will do from this one from this nine we go backward k units we go forward k units right that is acceptable right so the k value whatever the k value that is given with us with the help of that we will go backward and those elements we can cover and in the forward also that those many elements we can cover easily right so we will create a, a range okay the minimum range could be this whatever the index that we have the key where we appeared minus this k value okay so in this one 2 minus k that is like 2 minus 3 is basically minus 1 so we are actually going out of bond so for that what we will do we at at, at least we can go till the zeroth index beyond that we cannot go so minimum would be whatever the maximum value that we get from this one okay the minimum the backward uh, or we can say uh, in the low side okay in the back side uh, the range could be going to be minus 2 uh, k minus uh, 2 minus k whatever the index that we have minus k and 0 okay whatever the maximum value that we get that is going to be the range in the back side okay in the forward direction so let us suppose it was mean only the max range could be 2 plus k okay that index whatever the index that we are at and n minus 1 okay between this whichever is the maximum whichever is the minimum okay because this n minus 1 is actually right over here and this uh, 2 plus k is basically here so whichever is the minimum between these two whichever is the minimum is going to the maximum range okay both the range we got now what we can do whatever the mean 
we have and max where we actually want to go so we keep on whatever the indexes that we get in between this inclusion okay both are inclusive okay in between this whichever the elements that we are getting we will keep on adding into the list now here comes another nine okay next nine is something what appeared the problem with the next nine is again it is covering the same index which already covered by this previous nine right this previous nine already covered with this so yes some logic is we have to apply right over here so that when these duplicates should get removed the first thing that we can do is like we can use a set okay in the set we actually fill all these indices now again if the same index is getting appeared it will uh, directly uh, i mean it will uh, uh, directly consider the unique element okay so that is the first thing that we can do but can we further improve it instead of again repeating the same indices can we do something so that like whatever this previously covered range that is there the next elements if uh, at all this nine wanted to cover it should po start pointing from there okay so the minimum range that we decided right from the zero uh, index let us suppose r is something what we have defined it is currently pointing to the zero for this first nine now the r should be pointing to this one here okay whatever the range it has been covered from zero till fifth index it has been covered so the fifth index which element is basi basically pointing max is basically pointing to the fifth index so wherever the last index basically it was pointed the range it has been covered from there the next elements this r basically we can start pointing so r is basically at the end max plus one and instead of this zero it should be r okay so r is the value that we can cover okay so now the min range we got max range we got so min range is basically now pointing to he here okay and for uh, for this uh, for sorry for this particular nine the min range is basically pointing here based on the formula okay because r is basically pointing here 2 minus k comma r basically gives maximum whatever the value the r is basically the maximum value we get at, at minimum here and the maximum is basically again 9 plus k uh, or n minus 1 so basically both are pointing to the same one so this range is acceptable so whatever the element left out that is there that is going to be the answer okay it is pretty much uh, simple let us write down the code and again i'll discuss you if you still getting trouble to understand this one so the first thing that we will do is uh, we will create a pointer from where the next uh, whatever the key that we got it should start pointing so initially it will be at zeroth index so the pointer is going to be let us define it is going to be at zeroth index now we will run a for loop for int i equals to zero i less than uh, this uh, nums dot length or let's uh, get the length as well int n equals to nums dot length and here it is going to be till n i plus plus let us name it as j because uh, we are actually trying to see j's value right so why not to name it as j okay and we check that if nums of this j if it is not equals to key we will simply continue okay if it is a key okay if it is a key in that case what we will do we will try to get the range so int min okay minimum range it should be basically mat dot max between i already said it should be max because n minus uh, k if we do whatever this j value is there j minus k if we do we might go uh, beyond the zero as well so yes so maximum value whatever we get that should be the range instead of this zero it should be start pointing from the j k uh, sorry from the pointer it should uh, start okay the so pointer is initially pointing to zero index so yes it is acceptable max range is going to be math dot mean between this j plus k and m minus one okay that is should be the max range and both are inclusive min and max both are inclusive so we have to consider this min should be less than or equals to this max max okay and uh, all the elements that we cover in between this including uh, considering all uh, them should be getting added into the list so let us create a list list new array list okay we got the list now in the list we will simply add this uh, min because min is basically pointing to index only ultimately so min is something what we can add it and we, keep, we will keep on increasing this uh, min's value the moment min is equals to max uh, at the end the pointer needs to be pointing to next element of this max or min either of them max plus one okay so that whatever the elements that we have covered it those elements again we will not repeatedly co covering them okay 
so this list is something what we have to return at the end okay so let's try to run this code and uh, yeah while talking about this complexity it is going to be big of n this one and uh, again inside here we are just processing only one time so at max to max this uh, in the worst case it might cover n elements itself okay so it is going to be 2n basically it is n only the constant in the constant value we are running okay because these values are basically thousand so yes uh, doesn't matter currently but even if uh, it, it has a lot many uh, values the range has been increased in the worst case also it is like 2n max to max okay that is the value that we can cover uh, so yes that's all from this particular video i hope you got some understanding thank you for watching this one